Welcome to our course, Data Science Project, and in this part of our course, we are going to continue with our project about credit scoring. So, I mean, our last lessons about this project, we talked about the categorical variables, how to have an analysis on categorical variables. In this part of our lesson, what we are going to do is we are going to understand and analyze numerical data the numerical features of the data that we have so first um, we are going to find the statistical description of our data so if you could remember um, on this part of our project let me go here we have divided our data into two um, the ifcat for the data types that are object and the ifnum for the data types that are numbers or numerical. So the second one will be the subject of our discussion for today. So let's go back to this part of our project. So with the use of describe a function, we would be able to have a statistical information on the descriptive analysis or descriptive features of our data. So let's um, run this. Okay. Now we have the age, the annual income, um, number of bank account and so on and so forth. So these are our oops, what happened? Okay, let's got this one first. Okay. So as you could see um, in this um, descriptive I mean descriptive statistics of our data we can find the count and the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum value, the 25%, the 50%, 75% to the maximum value. So from the minimum to the maximum, um, this is actually what we call a five number summary. So this would this would constitute um, the basis of what we call the, the upper and the lower limit of our data. So with that also, we would be able to understand the median and we would also be able to understand the outliers if there is. Um, for example, we have here in the age, variable the minimum value is 14 and the maximum value is 8688 okay and for the annual income the minimum value is 7005.93 and the maximum value is what's this uh this is 24 million okay so what we will do next is that we would be able to understand the relationship between two variables so we would be able to understand their correlation later on so this time we'll pair them first and we would have a scatter plot for um each pair so let's execute this one this may take some time actually and if you would like to get some cup of coffee then you can no problem this may take um, a few minutes so let's go back to this one later on so now we have here the results and we can see the plot, the scatter plot of different pairs. So as you could see, there are pairs which we can see that um, they don't actually have some relationship. There are pairs when we can see that, they are, that there is some relationship and others also have strong relationship. So for us to be able to properly understand whether there, there is what we call correlation, because correlation is different from just a very simple relationship. Okay, so the better way to do that is to do the core function. And we're going to apply this to all of our features in our DFNUM or numerical features. So let's have this. And you can see here the different um, correlation values of our data. So, for example, the income and the age, there is the negative, actually, negative 0.01 correlation value, which is actually very, very small, and that's actually very weak. So, this one, for the age and amount invested monthly, there is no relationship or correlation at all, because it's zero. Let's find something which is, um, shall we say stronger this one monthly balance and monthly balance and what's this one is number three monthly balance and monthly in-hand salary there is a very high correlation 
which is 0 0.64 okay now um are using this one maybe sometimes if not in all cases seems to be glaring to our eyes because we have to we squeeze something inside our eyes for us to be able to see what's really going on in here so the best way to do this is to use a heat map and we can see the palette of varying degrees depending on the value of the correlation so with that um, we're going to use the cmap for this one and we, go, we are going to use the gnbu color and our annotation will be there too so which means um for each tile we could see the value of the correlation so let's execute this one okay so now we can see the values in here starting from the lowest to the highest so the blue color is having a very high correlation value the very pale one the very light one that means there is a um what we call high negative correlation going up is a high positive correlation of course in between it's a um very low correlation and at zero there is no correlation at all so um most actually have um just weak correlation others have a strong correlation but of course for one that means it's the correlation with itself and that's why we, we can see um perfect one value here what we will see next is um we would like to see the numerical columns because we are going to prepare for uh understanding the vif or the what we call the variance inflation factor and the variance inflation factor is actually very important um, for us to identify which features are not really um, essential or valuable in our model. So we can see later on um, which features we can delete or drop from our model or from, from our data. So let's execute this one first. So here, basically, we just identify the values, I mean, the, the names of our numerical and categorical columns and let's also see the cut categorical columns or the cut calls so these are our numerical columns and cut calls is our categorical columns so we divide this one because we want to see the vif of our um, numerical columns so let's execute this one so now we have the values the sop the standard for this one is that um, when it's above um, 2, then that particular variable should be deleted because the variance and inflation factor is very high. So when that value is above 2, which it, that means to say that there is what we call um, additive assumption. This additive assumption is um, presumed that or presumes that one variable is related to one another. Okay, so that's why we have to combine some of them and also this would also mean that one variable is correlated with one or two variables so we have to choose which one to use so with the use of this one uh, in our case we will just have above um four so for those above four like um, credit utilization ratio should be uh, excluded and from there we can also um, do some trial and error to also possibly include just um, above two right so for now, what we're going to delete from our data are the credit utilization ratio, the monthly balance, the monthly in hand um, salary, um, this one too, and then this one. But then again, uh, you can do um, trial and error. You can start first with the credit debt utilization ratio and the monthly balance, and then maybe you can just um, expand later on. Okay, let's execute this one. So these are already dropped from our data. Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.